Hold on one sec. You said you divided that by 10. What, what did you divide by 10? $13. Okay, so you took $13 divided by 10, and that ended up with what? $1.30 for one burger at Burger King. Ooh, and that's called the what, Catherine? You just unit found price. the... I missed it. Unit price? Yeah, the unit price. Good. My energy comes from my students. And, and whether that means that, you know, I have 26 kids in my room and I see them face to face, or I have 26 boxes on a Zoom call, like those are, that's my, where my energy comes from. And so for me, it's just really been, you know, kind of taking a step back and realizing that, yes, I want to teach them math and I want to make them mathematicians, but I also need to focus on that social emotional piece. And I need to, I need to really make sure that, you know, I'm doing those check-ins with those students. How are you doing this morning, Jordan? You look nice and comfy in that, is that a Jane Addams hoodie? Oh yeah, Mustang Pride, I love it. Love it. Hey, Owen, can you see that brain teaser okay? One of the things I've learned is that I actually know more than I thought I did, right? Like I've been put to the test, you know? I've always thought that I was that one that didn't do well with technology, but I've had to make it work and I've had to make it amazing for my students because they need to know that we're in this together and that pandemic or no pandemic, we're here to make school fun. Number three was a great one. Number three, if you remember right, they were comparing um, the speed of two people, right? And what we need to remember there is a lot of you had great answers, but we got to work on that reasoning still, right? Just telling me that Jada went faster is not enough. How do you know that Jada went faster? Like, what did you do to determine that, right? So telling me that Jada ran faster would be like a proficient answer. So to move ourselves to that excelling, now we need to say, how do we know that? Well, I found their unit rates and I compared them, right? So making sure that we always give more information to help us move to that excelling. I'm trying to make it as normal as possible. And that's partly for my own sanity, but as well as for my students. And the first week of school, I actually got an email reached out from one of my um, parents. And the comment in there was a quote from, from his daughter. And it was saying, Ms. Tinsley makes it feel like this is how school was always supposed to be, you know? And, and that right there, like that's my why. That is why I wake up every morning. That is why I come into school every day. Like that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I want them to think that what, no matter what's going on in the world, that Ms. Tinsley is a safe place. And you know, we can go through school, whether it's behind a computer screen or hopefully one day in the classroom. Once you are done with the video then, you will do today's exit ticket, which is called exit ticket number six. Again, that's only about three or four questions, very short, just so that I can get an idea of your understanding and what I need to do to help better your understanding tomorrow. Both of those assignments are due by the end of the day today, so by about three o'clock. 